Hi, and welcome to the 2019-2020 Sports Athletic Banquet. Uh, we apologize that we are not able to meet all together and celebrate together, but um, situation being what it is, that is uh, not possible. So we still want to recognize each of our students who competed in um, ESOC this past year. Unfortunately, we've decided not to give, uh, give awards to the season three sports, that being badminton, cross country, and swim. And that reason is just because the season was really short for that third season and we weren't able to compete in ESOC and it just didn't seem equitable um, to give award um, in the same way that we would recognize with basketball and um, soccer. But we still want to recognize each of you and we're really grateful for your commitment and sacrifice to those sports. So uh, just like every year, the four sports that we, or the four awards that we will be giving away uh, to each sport is uh, the MVP. That MVP is for the most valuable player. The recipient of this award is plays a key role on the team, is often the player that provides leadership for the team on the field or court, and they are, are also a significant factor in the team's success. The second award we will be giving out is the MIP, and that stands for the Most Improved Player. Uh, the recipient of this award exhibits a strong work ethic and has a t positive attitude and has improved significantly throughout the season. Uh, the third award is the Iron Man or Iron Woman. Uh, this award is given to the player that consistently displays a competitive spirit um, that drives them to never quit. Uh, the recipient of this award exhibits a uh, defense-first mentality and inspires others um, around them through their hard work and consistent effort and example. The last award is the Christian Testimony Award. This award is given to the player that consistently displays the attitude of Christ on and off the field. Um, the recipient is a very positive and encouraging uh, member of their team um, during practices and games. Uh, they also respond appropriately when winning or losing in a manner that is glorifying to God. Uh, we will do each sport in the season that they come up. Uh, so soccer will be first, then basketball, then uh, the third season sports. Again, welcome to the 2019-2020 Sports Athletic Banquet. This is such an amazing year for the boys' soccer program. Um, not only were we able to host ISAC again, um, but we won. And we finally brought back that elusive uh, soccer banner back to BICE. Um, and I just, I got to credit the guys. We had a young team this year, um, some sixth and seventh graders on the team. But every practice, every game, they all worked hard. Um, and they encourage each other and, and it really was a, a team effort um, and I'm so proud of them and I'm uh, really excited for the future of Vice Soccer. Um, for some uh, just individual recognitions though for the team, uh, I want to start by um, announcing our most improved player. This is a player uh, who improved significantly over the course of the season, um, worked hard, uh, and uh, actually this was this player's first year and so uh, Sungwa Park uh, was our most improved player. Uh, he really excited to see what uh, he brings next year um, as he just continues to get better and better. Um, for our Christian Testimony Award, this is someone who displays a Christ-like attitude uh, both on and off the field, is encouraging. Um, and this player was uh, one of our leaders in the very back um, he was always shouting out encouragement and picking up his other teammates. Um, and this is Ezra Thomas. Uh, he came to practice with a smile all the time. I uh, love to joke around with the guys, but um, definitely displayed a Christ-like attitude uh, as he encouraged his teammates. Um, this year for our team, uh, the Iron Man Award. This is an award for um, a player who is not only competitive but um, consistent. Um, uh, they're typically a defensive-minded player, uh, but this player also chipped in on offense, and that award goes to Rio Primadaru. He was our emotional leader um, and just a consistent presence there in the back, um, and bringing the ball up especially was such a huge asset for us to have um, out of the defense. Uh, and for our MVP, most valuable player, this is a player um, 
who just is crucial to our success and um, plays a huge role on the team. Um, and this player played in the center of the field. Um, they played defense, offense. Uh, they strung together, kind of held the team together. It was kind of like our glue. Uh, he's also our leading goal scorer this year. Um, and so that award goes to Ollie Gunthorpe. Um, well deserved. Um, he had a fantastic year and really looking forward uh, to what next year brings. Um, thank you guys, Sue, for all your support. And um, yeah, it was a great year. Soccer champions! Yeah, it's a great feeling. And I, I definitely miss the team, not being able to celebrate with them and the coaches sucks. But we had a great season and I have no one to thank but the coaches for that. I remember uh, when me and Mr. Julian first started out, uh, he, one of, one of the the most memorable moments of that year. It was actually my ninth grade year when Isaac was first held at Vice. I messed up my ankle and I came limping the next day and he still told me he wanted me to play. I, I thought he was crazy, but he put me on the pitch and I just started running like, like it wasn't even, like nothing ever happened. So I want to thank Mr. Julian and Fandi for, for guiding us and for pushing us this year. Uh, I definitely want to give the girls a huge shout out for uh, you know their efforts this year. It was uh, the results were disappointing, but um, you guys I think have definitely a lot of potential. And I saw it early in the season. Uh, you guys were so good, and um, you know don't let the results tear you down or discourage you because you guys have uh, a lot going for you. I'm going to be looking forward to you guys uh, playing next year and I wish you the best of luck to both the girls and the boys team. So yeah. Hello, this is Mrs. Nangolan or Coach K and I am pleased to speak about the women's soccer program. This season, we ended with seven wins, five ties, and four losses. Our team really focused on developing offense, and we successfully had 25 season goals and 70 shots at Isaac. Sadly, we only scored one goal in Isaac, an exciting goal, but next year we'll be working on finishing. <laughs> So the girls really, overall, they played such an improved game this season. They took a third place finish in the preliminaries, and then we had a tough loss in PKs in the finals. While we're very sad to graduate, a huge group of seniors, and seniors, we really wish you the best, and we want to thank you for all that you've given to the program. I also feel really confident in a good group of younger players that are ready to step up. So I'd like to present the Girls Soccer Awards. The first award is Christian Witness. This player led our team with five goals, but most importantly, she led our team as a role model and by example. Her teammates describe her as an encourager, a supporter, and a sister. So congratulations to Emily Nielsen. The next award is the Most Improved Award. This player worked hard at learning a new sport and she held down our keeper position, making 16 saves at Isaac in her first debut. So watch out, because next year she's gonna make a field debut. <laughs> but congratulations to Emily Stanford. <laughs> Next, I'd like to present the Iron Woman Award. I am so glad this player came back for her senior season. She's tough, she's reliable, she's flexible, she pushed through pain and she left it all on the field. So congratulations to Beltra. <laughs> and last, our MVP for this season. This player actually led was the second leader with five goals coming from the back for our team. Um, she's our wall. She makes a noticeable difference on the field. Um, we 
called on her to play a couple different positions, and she shined in every position. So congratulations to Shireen. And last, we want to thank everyone that has given and contributed to our soccer program, our fans. Um, we couldn't do it without all your support, so thank you. It is always fun to go back and think about our soccer season, even though it seems like it was so long ago. I'm going to miss working with my spunky, tenacious teammates who worked their butts off this year and can continue to grow so much as athletes and friends. I can't believe how long some of us have been playing together. It was really amazing to see how many girls stood up for tryouts compared to previous years. We are even able to have a JV team this year, and I'm so thankful that you guys have even longer to grow and improve as soccer players. Also, congratulations to the boys. You guys won Isaac, I can't believe it. Um, seeing all of your faces after you won was just amazing. You did a phenomenal job, and I'm so impressed with each and every one of you. Thank you also for always being supportive of us girls, even when we don't. I wish you guys so much luck next year. Belcher, Chloe, Caitlin, and Kyla, the senior girls came back. I'm so glad I got to play with you all one last time. Karen and Emily, we had more than one goalie this year, which has never happened, and it's because of you guys, which is a huge blessing. Lydia, Angel, Hayan, Jenny, Shireen, and Melissa, how many years have we been playing together by now? And look how far we've come. Lydia, Clarine, Petra, Kasia, Mia, and Ryan. It makes me feel old to say this, but I started much the same as you guys several years back, and I know that if you stick with it, you will get farther than you ever thought you could. Coaches, it is by your sacrifice of time and effort that brings us into this team we are each year. Thank you for pushing us to be our best and helping us have a lot of fun too. We had a lot of changes this year, trying out new positions and such, but everybody stepped up to the plate and we played better than we've ever played before. My favorite memory from this year was watching you all make bets on us beating this, and then we won, and in the end we got free drinks from Better Days. It made beating this so much better, and it was so much fun to see you guys have a lot of fun. I'm so thankful for the seasons I have been able to play with you all, and I'm very impressed with each and every one of you. And I can't wait to see what you do next year. <laughs> I'm really excited to talk about the basketball season. Your hard work during the season really paid off at ISAC with a record-breaking four wins. Thank you all for doing your best, working hard, and being coachable. A key example of dedication to the team was when Karen made both her clutch free throws to win the Surabaya game, even after getting injured. Um, we asked the team who they thought deserved the four uh, following awards, and these are the girls they voted for. The recipient of this first award exhibits a strong work ethic, positive team attitude, and has improved significantly through the season. Luana, congratulations for earning the Most Improved Player Award. This next award is given to the player that consistently displays a competitive spirit that drives them never to quit. She exhibits a defense first mentality and inspires others around her through her hard work and consistent effort. Congratulations, Hyun, for earning the Iron Woman Award. This next award is given to the player that consistently displays the attitude of Christ on and off the court. She is positive and encouraging during practices and games. Congratulations, Rachel, for earning the Christian Witness Award. And finally, this last award is given to the team's most valuable player. She is a key player for the team and is often the player that provides leadership for the team on and off the court. She contributed significantly to our success this season. Congratulations, Beltra. You were our MVP. Great job this season, ladies. Guys, we got third place. That's a big accomplishment. My fave memory this year is when we won our first games against Biss in their home court. It was such an emotional time for the team because we worked really hard and we conditioned an extra 30 minutes every single practice and just seeing that our hard work have paid off really made me really proud of the team. To the boys, good job in winning first place this year. You did amazing and thank you for waking up at 4 in the morning for us and always cheering us in every game. To Kyla, I had so much fun being your roommate in Isaac and seeing you improve in basketball and I especially love watching you play in the Trinitas games. 
To Rachel, Karen, Hayon, Shireen, Emily, and Ginny, they have been great playing with you guys for so many years and seeing you guys improve so much, especially this season. To Petra, Mia, Luana, Juan, and Nana, it has been a pleasure playing with you guys and I see so much potential in you guys and I hope you guys will join next year. To the coaches, thanks for making us condition even though we did complain about it a lot. But we can see in Isaac when we won third and not sixth that it was all worth it. Hello, Bikes community. It's my privilege to talk just for a few minutes about the boys' basketball team this year. Uh, I'm very proud uh, of each member of the team, uh, especially for working so hard and coming home from Surabaya with the ISAC Boys Basketball 2020 Championship, which is now proudly displayed in the sports court. Uh, I do want to thank Coach Walker uh, for doing a great job as our assistant coach this year and really being a spiritual rudder uh, for the team. Uh, this year we were able to, as the song says, uh, take care of business. Uh, and we did that well and we did that with grace. So thank you, Coach Walker. Um, I want to especially congratulate Rio, Gyungman, and Jason uh, for winning the championship during their senior year. That's a special privilege. Uh, and to every team member, uh, I hope uh, that as you progress, whether you're graduating this year or continuing. Uh, I hope that our themes of playing with joy and with freedom and with courage are themes that can transfer uh, into your lives so that you can live life with passion uh, the way Jesus would call you uh, to live life with passion. Uh, I also want to thank Mr. Julian for running the off-season workouts over the summer. Um, for the student athletes who were in the weight room getting stronger, for the student athletes who were um, always walking around campus uh, with a ball in their hands, shooting around as much as possible. Uh, I think your efforts really uh, paid off and showed a lot of uh, results uh, as we culminated with our climax at the ISAC tournament. One of the stories that I loved hearing uh, from the tournament was uh, at a time when we were playing another team. Uh, one of the Opposing team members took a free throw and missed and one of our players uh, walked over to him Gave him some encouragement gave him a high five uh, And one of the fans uh, not a Bice fan said man those Bice student athletes are just so Impressive and nice and I think that's an indication of um, How our community uh, can be competitive can play hard can play with great determination and perseverance um, but also can play with grace, also play with great sportsmanship, and be gentlemen on and off the court. So as your coach, uh, boys, I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Um, again, Rio, Youngman, and Jason, I uh, wish you God's blessings as you graduate uh, in just a couple of weeks. Um, and for the returning players, I look forward to continued improvement uh, and look forward to seeing how you grow and progress over the off season. Many blessings. Thank you. Woo! That's what champions! I give a shout out to my man Yi Chan, who said in 2015 that. The boys basketball team wouldn't win another championship. I remember reading this back in 2015 and thinking, I'm going to prove him wrong. And that's what we did. So yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely awesome to be able to say that twice now for soccer and basketball. It was a great season, and I definitely want to thank the coaches, Mr. Thomas and Mr. Walker, for, for really pushing us this year. In practice, we, uh, we had some tough practices this year, and that was, that, that was definitely necessary for us to be able to perform as well as we did in ISAC. <clears throat> and I remember just sitting in the locker room with the team after we had won the championship, and Mr. Thomas telling us that this was, this was his first championship uh, that he won, and so it was a great honor to be able to uh, give Mr. Thomas uh, 
his first championship. Uh, and speaking of memories, I, I definitely loved the traveling, even though it was uh, it was on the bus for like 16 hours. I definitely had a lot of. Uh, I definitely got to know the middle schoolers a lot because all my other friends were cuddling in the back. But it was a great it was a great ride and it was a lot of fun. Some of the great girls were super funny, and I learned so much from them uh, just being on a bus ride for 16 hours. And so that just goes to show that you shouldn't you know, judge people and you have to get to know them. And if you do that, you'll find that they can be really awesome people. Uh, lastly, I guess I wanna say congratulations to the girls team who got third place. That's so awesome. Uh, I, I love being able to be there every step of the way and just watching all your games was super fun and I you guys did so good I couldn't have been more proud of you you guys are going to do great next year and so I want to uh, yeah wish you and you girls team and the guys team the best of luck I'm going to enjoy uh, watching you guys next year so good luck Hi dear by swimmer there is nothing loose to be a swimmer you will have a good body and health and you will be a struggle person not just for today but for all your life it's very important thing to be success for your future God bless you all Hey, Bai Swimmer! Welcome to Bai Swimming Pool! It's been a while since nobody swim here. Yeah, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm Coach Henry with Coach Diaz as my cameraman. Uh, we want to uh, give you uh, appreciation for this year's swim uh, season. Yeah, it just been like, uh, like 10 times practice so far before we stop from COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, with this video, I want to address each of my swimmer from the great team, Angelique Kesia Chandra, Gwyneth Lee, Nicole Katsumi, Stephanie Katsumi, and the blue team, we have Sung Ha Lee, Isabel Kathleen Kartaraharja, Ezra Thomas, Sang Yun Nam, Song Ha Park, Jun Ha Kang, Hana Sutandi, Melissa Budiono, Rafael Kurniawan, Ji Song Sin, Dominic Kurniawan, Maya Whitehurst, Moreno Purnomo, Michael Hartono, and Darren Lee. Okay. Uh, this year, starting this season, Blue Team was uh, different like other years before. Before, we have so many great teams and almost no body in blue team especially the girls swimmers but this year we start differently we have plenty of girls uh, swimmers in blue team boys and we are really have strong uh, swimmers ex uh, in the blue team great team opposite from last year we have like very few swimmers but uh, we start this year with confidence but uh, so sorry because this covid outbreak uh, we don't have a chance to show like what we have in the ISAC but as your coach I want to give this certificate of participation because you are part of a swimming team 2019-2020 season so 
See you swimmers! Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin. I'm a senior in bias and I've joined seven swim seasons out of 11 Isaac seasons. And swimming has become a huge part of my life and I know it has been an impact to many swimmers as well, which is why I'm so grateful and honored to be the one making the speech today. And swimming has given me some of the best memories. I remember um, bargaining for Kenny to go to a slush program and staying up to talk until the salt pump kicked us out at 6 p.m. in the pool. And just all the tears we shed, um, the laughter we shared, and the memories we'll always have together. This is why it saddens me to know that this either swim season has been cut short, but I know that the um, swimmers of the blue and gray team will continuously thrive and grow next year and the following years. Um, I also want to take a t the time to express my gratitude on behalf of the team for the coaches who work so hard to support and teach us. Thank you, Pak Henry, and thank you, Ibu Diaz. And yeah, I just want to thank so many people, which is why instead of saying goodbye, I would like to just say thank you. Thank you to all the parents who continuously support their children. It was always so fun to watch them get hyped up in Isaac swimming. Um, thank you to all the swimmers of the old team um, who really shaped us to become who we are today. And the new team of the Blue and Grey team um, to work hard despite the hindrances we had this year. I'm so proud of all of you. And I just want to say thank you again to the coaches and just thank you for swimming. Swimming has become a really good part of my life and it's the best decision I made joining the swim team in my high school and middle school years. And yeah, I encourage more swimmers to join because I see so much potential and I know we'll bring home the banner and trophy again one day. Thank you. Hello, I want to say thank you to Mr. Justin Powers and Ms. Diaz who gave me opportunity to train BAIS Badminton Isaac team. Good job for everyone who always came and trained on our 12 times meeting. For boys team, Edward, Julio, TJ, Rainer, Jake, Jihoon, Chan Yong, David, and Min Wu. For girls team, Beltra, Kayla, Michela, Steffi, Juan, Min Jong, Luana, and Miso. You guys are great. Keep your spirit high. So great to know all of you. Bye. Hi. I just want to say thank you first for giving me this opportunity to express my gratitude for the badminton team this year. Uh, I was a bit disappointed that the whole season did not end it properly with Isaac. Uh, however so, I still did enjoy every bit of time I spent in the court with my friends and all the memories we have shared together. Uh, I want to first say, say a huge thank you for our coach Martin for being a great mentor, not to just me, but to all the members of the badminton team. Uh, I also want to say a huge thank you for all my teammates that have played and practiced alongside uh, with me. Uh, and I want to specifically say thank you to TJ, Rayner, and Jake uh, for all the special memories that we have shared together playing badminton. Uh, I hope that I encourage a lot of people to join badminton next year. Um, it's a fun sport and yeah, thank you. We're here to recognize the cross country team. We were so excited about the opportunities that were before us as we began this season. Uh, I truly believe that we prepared for ISAC in such a way that we had an opportunity to go to ISAC and we were going to see our boys defend their champion. And uh, I believe we had a strong, strong girls team that was going to compete for our first girls ISAC banner. And uh, we all know that, of course, the uh, season was cut short and ISAC was canceled because of 
uh, the coronavirus, but we still want to recognize all of your hard work and dedication that you put in to building a great cross-country team this year, and we know that it's just going to give us great momentum going into next year. So great job, guys. All right, so I want to read our team members. Um, Emily Nielsen, Brian Hermawan, Oliver Gunthorpe, Melgrin Haratu, Connor Truloff, Rachel Nielsen, Herschel Wong, Caden Squires, Joshua Liebich, Angel Gunawan, Kai Thomas, Enrique Go, Ludia Jong, Ella Truloff, Simeon Gunthorpe, Mia Whitehurst. And it's been an amazing half a year, half a season. <laughs> but you guys did a great job. We are so grateful that you are part of the team. And we're so grateful that you are continuing to run and be healthy, even though we didn't get to race this year. So good job, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm here to share with uh, what happened this cross country season, even though it was cut short due to the pandemic, unfortunately. So some of the funnest memories that we had were uh, when we went on a long run once a week. We, we ran 7K, and it was to a sign that looked like it had a butt on it. We call it the butt sign. It was really fun to just do that. We, we all celebrated when we got to the halfway point there. And um, yeah, that was super fun. Also, we did a lot of yoga, which was really quite fun. It was just a lot, a lot for a lot of us, it was just hard and just we all laughed because some of us struggled so badly, but yeah, it was good. Um, some of the stuff we all struggled with, a lot of us struggled with anyway, was sickness during just before all this stuff happened during the season, as well as some injuries that some of us suffered, uh, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that was a bit of that was sort of just the downside of the whole season, apart from when it got cut short. And yeah, I just want to thank our coaches so much for what they've put into us this season. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that next season we can continue to have the same coaches and that we can continue to grow as runners and as friends and as a team in Christ. Thank you, Connor, and all other student athletes that spoke for their team. And also thank you, coaches, for your dedication to um, our sports program here at Vice. Uh, I also want to take the time to acknowledge six uh, seniors, graduating seniors this year, that have participated in at least seven or more uh, ESOC events or, in, or have been on the varsity team for seven or more years. And so Kyla has been on seven teams. She did four years of soccer, two of basketball, and one of bad badminton this year. Uh, next was Beltra. She has done four years of soccer and two years of badminton and two years of, baske uh, of basketball as well. Um, next is Caitlin coming back for her senior year. She did six years of swimming and two of soccer. Uh, really grateful that she came back for her final season year here at Bice. And then uh, Gyeongmin and Emily both did nine years. Gyeongmin four uh, basketball on the basketball team and uh, five on the swim team. Emily Nielsen has uh, also done nine uh, East Lake events, uh, five for soccer, three for cross country, and then one swimming. And then Rio uh, has done a total of 12 uh, East Lake, uh teams, has been on 12 e different East Lake teams five for soccer, four for basketball, and three for swim. So thank you, Rio, specifically for uh, so much that you contributed to our athletic program. At this time, I would also like to transition into acknowledging our Academic Athlete of the Year and our Athletes of the Year. Uh, the awards are similar. Um, the, each athlete must be a clear leader on their team. Um, this is the player that rises to the challenge and plays best under pressure. This player exhibits excellent athletic ability and treats players and coaches with respect. Uh, preference will be given to those players who uh, are on two or more uh, ESOC teams in one year. Uh, that would be the uh, qualifications for the athlete of the year. And then similarly, uh, all of those uh, qualifications um, apply to the academic athlete of the year. The only difference being that to be eligible for the academic athlete of the year, you must have a GPA of 3.5 or higher. Um, you individual coaches will be the ones that present these awards to their to their players. So, thank you. 
Um, you really deserve this Athlete of the Year award. As a group of coaches, we decided that you deserve this award because you are an amazing athlete um, who inspires her team to play hard. Here's a memory that illustrates how essential you were to the basketball team. Um, in one of our games, you were benched because of an injury. However, we were not doing well, so you begged me to let you go in. So I put you in for one minute and you changed the whole momentum of the game. I think you must have stolen the ball like five times. Um, thanks for being a great team captain. Congratulations, Haiyan. You truly deserve the Academic Athlete of the Year Award. Um, the same effort and tenacity you displayed on the court was evident in the classroom, which makes you both a star athlete and a star student. A memory that demonstrates your tenacity and hard work is when you should have drawn a charge, but the refs didn't call it in your favor. You pushed through the pain and frustration and kept giving your all. I really appreciated how you worked just as hard in practice as you did in games. Thanks for being such a great team player. Hey guys, uh, I'm back. I have the honor of announcing the uh, Male Athlete of the Year and Male Academic Athlete of the Year awards. Um, and so this player um, not only was an MVP for one of his teams, uh, but also displayed um, just great athletic ability um, in two sports. Um, I think he was planning on doing a third one before uh, we went into lockdown. Um, and so this year's Male Athlete of the Year award goes to Ezra Thomas. Um, the Male Academic Athlete of the Year. Uh, so this, this player um, also played two sports, uh, was planning on playing a third one. Uh, he also won MVP for one of his teams. Uh, he uh, was just a crucial part of his team. It was really fun to even watch him um, in basketball, uh, which was a new sport to him, really become an important player um, to the team. And so this year's uh, Male Athletic Academic Athlete of the Year goes to Ollie Gunthorpe. Um, and just real quick, one story about these two guys, just to demonstrate um, not only their athletic ability, but their uh, character was during the final game against Wesley in soccer. Um, uh, actually, I don't know if you guys remember, Wesley scored first. They came down our left wing, uh, we played the ball, and were able to score. And uh, after the play, a couple of our players were just really, you could tell, discouraged and kind of sitting on the ground, hands in their faces, um, hands over their faces. And Ollie and Ezra walked over and picked those guys up, um, gave them some words of encouragement. And um, later, actually, that one of those players ended up scoring the two goals um, two of the goals that would have uh, helped us to beat Wesley. And so just, again, just a great example, not only of their athletic ability, but their character um, as they both participated on these, uh, these two great seasons in basketball and soccer uh, where we were able to bring home um, the banners and just the crucial role that they played. Our final award for the 2019-2020 Sports Olympic Banquet is our Eagle Legacy Award. Uh, this award is not an annual award and it is only given on the rare occasion when a student excels in all qualifying areas and is also able to balance uh, their roles within each of the listed areas. One area being academic excellence. Uh, this candidate will have a GPA of 3.5 or higher and has also chosen to take more challenging work while um, here at BICE. Uh, leadership. The candidate will have excelled in um, areas of leadership while also taking on additional roles and responsibilities that uh, benefit the student body. Athletics. The student will not just participate and excel in sports, they will have played enough sports in their time at BICE to have lettered in athletics and should be considered a vital player on, to the success of their teams. And lastly, Christian testimony. The candidate will be known by the teachers, the classmate, and the coaches, and the student uh, athletes um, as, a, as a person, as an individual that seeks after God. Uh, the ideal candidate will be transparent in their walk, um, real with their friends, and an example to their classmates and um, of their faith journey. 
Uh, Coach K will be the one that presents this award. I am thankful for the honor to present today's Eagle Award. Um, this is an individual who sets an example at Vice in the classroom, in athletics, and in her walk with the Lord. She's confident, yet humble, holding herself to be the best, but purely for God's glory. Her purity of heart is a testament to who she is and what she stands for. So with complete pleasure, we'd like to present that to Emily Nielsen. Thank you, Coach K, and thank you to everybody uh, for watching. Sorry if it went on a little too long. I specifically want to thank uh, Mr. Amu for helping me put this, or actually putting the entire film together. Um, and thank you for all of the coaches and all of the student representatives that filmed for us. I know it was a bit awkward. This entire situation is a bit um, not ideal, but thank you so much. It's just a testament to how the Vice community works together. So um, we love you. We're grateful for you. Uh, Diaz and I uh, find so much purpose in um, you know, just being able to serve you and put things together for you. So I'd also like to thank Diaz for all, her, all of her hard work for the season. Um, really, none of this could happen. No ESOCs could happen. Um, uh, games couldn't be scheduled without Diaz. So I'm personally very grateful for her. Uh, she's a huge asset to our program and our school. So again, I hope everybody has a great summer. 2019-2020 uh, ended a bit uncomfortably, but um, that's life. So thank you for all that you do, and we look forward to next year. Thanks.